Hey everyone, I'm Megan from Able City, and tonight I'm sitting in the Able City Chicago office, the newest of the Able offices. And with me is Andy from the LA office and Jeff from New York. So I'm excited to be here in Able City Chicago, and we're talking about what you can expect from us at NAB 2016, and also what to expect from the show itself. Yeah, we're going a totally different direction with our booth, we're just changing things up this year, uh, really trying to focus on bringing you guys the best of the show, the things that we're really interested in. Uh, you know, there's a lot to see at NAB. We're here to kind of wind it down just for what we think you, our, you know, our clients, right. and our friends uh, want to see. You yeah. know? So presentations, tours, we're, we're changing it up. It's pretty right. exciting. We're going to help curate the show so you can really know what to see next. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, kind of like the greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... Uh, what do you think those will be? Yeah, what is it going to be? Yeah, what is it going to happen? Uh, think, every, yeah. I mean, every year it's about themes, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's always a theme of some sort. I think this year for us, or for me anyway, I won't speak for you guys, yeah. but HDR, certainly. Yeah, right. right. Absolutely. High dynamic range. It's, you know, 4K, high resolution is, televisions are important. They're everywhere. Yeah. You yes. know, I just bought one. Yeah. You know, because why not? Yeah. You know, I want it. But it's one of those things where it's, you know, point of diminishing return, perhaps, right? Yeah. How, cl how close do you sit to the television set? Yeah before you really don't see the difference anymore. Right. Right? We only can resolve so much with our eye. But right. HDR. You notice. Yeah, yeah, you see it. Exactly. Right. It's one of those things that I say, like, my mom and dad can go, oh, yeah, I see that. Right. Like, the big deal. Uh, I think that's to your point. Like, it's something that we all, when, when you see it, you know, it, it right. makes a big yeah. impact. Yeah, and cool. especially to see it in the field, right? So our yeah. cameras can capture it. We've been able to see it on post-production monitors. But to see it in the field is a whole new, new world. Yeah, so obviously in the post world, Sony's been doing very well. The X300 is very popular. Mm -hmm. Canon has a great HDR monitor, uh, which is more for the field now as well. Right. But, you know, it's kind of still mostly located in, in post. That's what they built them for right. generally. And this new Canon monitor as well as ones from Atomos. Well, so Atomos has yeah. a new uh, Shogun and uh, Ninja Flames. Yes, yeah, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. High bright monitors, but also capable of showing an HDR curve. Right. Yeah. So you show in your log footage into it, and it'll present the... Right. HDR back image out. back, yeah. Right. To see that on set, it's, it makes a big difference, yeah. I think. Yeah, and an accessible price point. Right, too, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Battery-powered, you know, yeah. battery-powered yeah. mounted on the camera itself, it can also record. Yeah. Right. right. So just so much, right? yeah. it's a little thing. Yeah, I think probably they won't be the only ones, there's going to be other people doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's. I think this is where we're actually get HDR on set, to your right. point. And it, does, and it can actually have an effect on how you might expose for your image, or at least you have a better idea of what you're going to get right. uh, down the pipeline. Yeah, what yeah. the, the camera's really capturing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, as a cinematographer, right, Megan, you shoot a lot, right? Yeah. So, right. I mean, yeah. being able to light and control your lighting or add a little bit of lights. Yeah, right? to really see it and represent it and show other people that and clients mm -hmm. that and gaffers that. That's huge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what else? Optics. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah optics. Yeah. So, big deal? No, pretty big, I think. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's evolved over the years. Mm -hmm. We've seen lenses that were you know, meant for a certain mount and you couldn't change it and you just bought a different lens for mm -hmm. a different mount because that's what we, de we dealt with. Mm -hmm. Right. But, you know, ever since Zeiss what did really well with those CP2s, yeah. interchangeable mounts, but now I think we're starting to see more and more of that type of, you know, a concept, full frame glass. Full frame, yeah. 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 I think it's got to be a trend. I mean, obviously we're seeing more cameras, more video cameras that are, big, are full frame. I mean, I think, you know, the AK weapons on the yeah. way, uh, you know, that's a full frame camera. We're going to see more of that in the future. And right. even other, other manufacturers talked about bigger sensors. So I think the, the lenses have to follow. Zeiss has led the way, I agree. But it's got to be, it, it, it seems to me that's the, that's the trend for the future. So if it's not this year, it's going to be happening soon. Right. Yeah. And I think for an investment in a lens, it's great to you know, yeah. do the future proofing. And then adapters, too. I mean, taking those lenses and adapting them for their applications. Right. Other cameras. Or other kind of lenses using mm -hmm. them for with, with adapters on, you know, your Super 35 camera, which seems to be the right. sort of standard today in mm -hmm. a lot of ways. You know, we want to see what, everyone wants that camera. Right. But, you know, it may not actually, that the lens that you love the most may not actually go on it. So there's, there's a lot of adapters, a lot of changes. I think that's actually right. a bigger trend than we've ever seen before. There's, there's a lot of, of yeah. different options. Yeah. Out there. We think some of that was born from just the frustration of not having a big zoom ratio. Yeah, right? I think and so. support, especially, you know, for the news and the wildlife and the, the dock shooters, whatever. Yeah. You know, they need that sort of zoom ratio that's not really present in Super 35 right. zoom lens. Right. Yeah, no, it's a big deal. I mean, we all came from, many of us came from, yeah. you know, fixed camera, fixed lens camera, small sensor, mm -hmm. massive zoom range. It was great, you know, or from ENG World where we had right. a, a massive z uh, a zoom range. We all want the depth of field, we want the look, we want the feel. The new cameras, the better cameras, have big sensors. And so we lost the zoom range along the way, you know. Right. So uh, we've seen some, you know, nice 
zoom lenses coming out over the last mm-hmm. years. I mean, EG style, right. servo driven zoom lenses, yeah. Canon, Fuji, others, you know, so that's a trend that's got to continue. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, I think lightweight handheld with long zoom range. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I think so. That's the big, that's the big thing, right? Mm-hmm. Even from the, the lowest end, you know, lowest uh, level camera to the highest level, I think people right. want to use these tools with these lenses, you know? Sure. And yeah. I think, you know, the other thing that was interesting we were talking about before was. Uh, some of the digital, the clear image zoom thing that they have. In yeah, the, right. So Sony yeah. obviously did really well with the FS5 with yeah. the functionality. You know, it just amazing you push through that much and yeah. seamlessly. Like you could really go from optical zoom to digital zoom. It just push right through, right? Yeah, and it's, it's not even digital zoom. zoom, right? We can't even call it that because yeah. it's really not. Yeah. Right? Digital zoom is a bad word. Yeah, it looks yeah. pixelated because it's just yeah. taking the resolution and enlarging it. But what yeah. they're doing with sort of you know sampling in on that is, is pretty clever. Yeah. 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 So wouldn't it be surprised to see more of that kind? Yeah, yeah. In that along those lines. Right. Yeah. Anamorphic? Anamorphic. That's got to yeah. be a thing. That's always been a big so. thing. Last year was a big, right. a big right. deal. Yeah, it's been a trend, but I think yeah. to see it even more common and yeah. more accessible. More lenses, yeah. more options, more, I think, more, more accessible, affordable. More affordable, yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Maybe even adapting existing lenses? Yeah. With, you know, anamorphic elements? Yeah, why not? Right. You know? It's possible. Aerie yeah. did some of that with their sort of master anamorphics and yeah. the, anim- the uh, flare kits that they released. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, so more, more and right. more affordable, Options. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, not so Let's see. How about lighting? Lighting, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's you know it's always evolving. That's what that's that's for sure. Right. right now we've seen you know big waves of change in lighting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think with the whole LED movement too, yeah. to be able to to have a lot large output with a small power draw. Yeah, right? yeah, that's huge. See bigger sources. And that's the thing. I think LED sort of started off to mm-hmm. me in this sort of you know it's just it's just the panel. Right. It's a great place to start. It's very simple, low output. You know, that's where the technology was. But now. Way more output, like you said. Right. Different sizes, different shapes, mm-hmm. not just a, a little flat, flat light. Yeah. It's, there's all, all kind of things. And, and I think, you know, you can actually get more out with less power, you know. Right. Or, you know, we have that big fixture now where we didn't have it before. Yeah. yeah. You know, adapting them to the fixtures we're used to, right? The, mm-hmm. the style of fixtures, right? mm-hmm. open face for nails, et cetera. Right? Yeah. Being able to use, but now instead of, uh, you know, traditional light source, or light engine, you're using the new technology. Mm-hmm. Right. Whether it's LEDs or remote phosphor. Right, remote phosphor, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's a very interesting one, too, as well. Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah. And then I think each HMI and even plasma are all evolving really well as well. Right. HMI, which is a fairly old technology, it just seems to be getting more and more uh, options here. The ballast seem to be getting better, the bulbs get better, so right. it's still evolving, that technology. Yeah, color accuracy, yeah. Is more accurate. Yeah. yeah, way more, yeah. It's pretty amazing what they've done with that stuff, too. So then plasma is also the same thing, again, it just gets better and better, interest, more and more interesting. Right. You know, again, and all, the, almost all of these t- fixtures, these new ones that we're kind of all excited about, are all house power, which is pretty That's amazing. True. So it changes, yeah. that changes a lot. Right. Or battery power. Or battery yeah. power. Yeah, some will even run on batteries. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking of the little LEDs you can rig in cars and rig on, you know, in yeah. sets. So yeah. that's really interesting. Yeah, so what else? VR? Yeah, yeah. We go, we dare we go to VR, 360 <laughs> video. Right. You know, I think that's the, that's the, I mean, you might say this could be the big 360 year. And right. Be, well, speaking uh, of pavilions, there's a 360 VR or 360 video pavilion this yeah, year. Right, right in the yeah. front, too, right in the front. North Hall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, interested to see where, where VR goes, right? Where a 360 video goes, how we can monitor it, what's the integration, what yeah. applications. And I think this NAB will be really sh- showcasing that. Yeah. Not, so, not just, you know, like a video game tool, but production right. tool. Yeah. What does that look like? You right. Know? Yeah. Different applications. Yeah. Well, things like live streaming, right? Yeah. Being able to be there live yeah. in, in the moments. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I think it, you know, you see a space like this, you can see where we have lit it up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> behind the scenes. It's behind the scenes. <laughs> Why not? You know, I think there's applications, but yeah. I think we're just getting started with that. I, I think, think so. See what has to evolve. Yeah, I yeah. think so. But, you know, definitely the, it could be, you know, a lot of goggles. That's right, year, I would say. You know? Right, yeah, absolutely. But I think yeah. with that and yeah. more content, we'll see more opportunities for it, right, which absolutely. is big. It's definitely big. Guys. Yeah, I think it's all about immersing your audience into this this world that you're right. In. Whether it's behind the scenes videos, it, it's concerts, it's right. events, or just even news. Yeah, news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, or even just showing yeah. Yeah. showing off, uh, you know, a tourist location. You know? Yeah. Right. So one of the big things last year uh, was drones, right? right? So camera movement was a big, you know, last couple of years, camera movement, new gimbal technology, drone yeah. technology. And that was, yeah. I mean, I mean we had there a, was just so many We drones. had a drone pavilion and yeah, everything. And was, I mean, we'll yeah. probably have it this year too. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that's going away. I think it's going away. I think there's still evolution. We saw the Alta 8 from Free Fly come yeah. out. So right. it's still, you know, this is a big bit. Yeah, I think, 20 pound payload, right? right. It's what people are wanting, you know, yeah. fly Larger heavier. cameras. Yeah, yeah. Larger cameras and, and DJIs, you know, they're doing really interesting stuff with the collision avoidance. It's been smarter. Yeah. So I think it's still a big thing. 
I don't know if it's like it's as the, the banner year for right. I think it's because people are like, okay, this is what we can do with it. We know what it is now. It doesn't have to be the big yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm No, but it's, you're right. It's becoming more accessible. Right. That's what it is. Yeah. Right. You have a lot of the automatic sort of features. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, tracking your subjects automatically. Yeah. You know, and, and Freefly is doing a lot of that work too with so their sort of mimic technology with the right. uh, version 5 firmware. Yeah. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. able to take that mimic sensor, stick it on your subject. Yeah, and and just have track your, them. Yeah. Have, yeah, have your movie track them, or if you put it in the air, have your aerial platform track. Yeah, that's right. pretty amazing. I, say that, I think that there's something going on there with this tracking, yeah. and it goes into autofocus and other things that I think are really actually getting better and somewhat more accessible. I mean, more, more, more acceptable, maybe. That's the word yeah. I'm looking yeah. for, yeah. Uh, you know, because before, you know, autofocus is definitely a bad word, right. you know? But yeah, I feel like, I think... Now, if we can track subjects, yeah, and I agree. I mean, the technology to of it is advancing so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, Canon showed that with their dual pixel autofocus yeah. technology. Right. You know, it wouldn't it surprise me to see some more, you know, yeah, evolution. Yeah. Face tracking. You know, it's just stuff's getting really smart. You know, yeah. so and it's not like it's not just for you know. No, I mean, so just point your camera and hope for the best. You know, right. Yeah, right. It's very accurate, precise. Right. And even Preston shows some stuff. Right. With, yeah. With that like light ranger idea. Right. 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 Yeah. Taking yeah. cinema lenses. But Adding the autofocus component to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Which or at least the auto assist. Right? assist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what about cameras? We can't not talk about cameras, yeah, right? We love, we love our cameras yeah. here. You know, it's obviously we have a couple hanging out back here <laughs> in Chicago. We love the cameras. Yeah. You know, I think it's interesting. Like over the past couple of years, we've seen less and less camera releases yeah. in terms of physical new cameras, but right. we're seeing a lot more software mm -hmm. accessories. You know, new things keep adding to it. Mm -hmm. Right. I think we're going to see more of that as a trend. New updates, bigger adjustments. You know, they, yeah. they R seven fifty five higher frame rates, better. Yeah. More, more raw options, you know. Right. Yeah, I think it's sort of more subtle evolution. I think you're right. Right. But more with features. that comes, yeah, features. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. Wireless control, yeah. LUT yeah. control. Yeah. Well, I love the LUT control. Like in the, the very cam and some others, they're actually more adding basically just more smarts into the camera. Mm -hmm. You know, it's already a computer, right? We know right. that, you right. know, but adding that fe those features in there, which, you know, maybe at one point were just sort of gimmicky kind of things, and now turning them into more professional tools, I think, right. you know, overall, which is. I, I like that, you know, yeah. color management, you know, I'm into that, like the LUTs and all that stuff, but yeah. there's other things going on too. Well, well, that also improves the sort of relationship from onset to post-production. Right, right. Exactly. Like Varicam Airy both doing this really well, embedding that LUT in one way or another. Right. So it carries over to post. Right. right automatically. Right. You know, Red's been doing it for a while with, of course, their sort of look management system. Right. Right, just being able to see the looks in camera and also in post, and those changes are seamless. No, I think that's a huge part of it, absolutely right. It's that integration in post and production yeah. that's a big, big change. Right. And then, you know, of course, the, you know, there's, there's going to be something cool that's going to come, I'm sure. Like there's some 8K. Maybe right. we need some 8K. Resolution. Yeah, more resolution. Nothing wrong with that. You know, more and more and more, and more you know, right. bigger sensors. Uh, right, you know, red 8K is going to be there. Canon sort of hinted at something, right? Yeah, of course. They had that uh, sort of prototype at the Javits Center at the their, uh, the big, their big expo. Right, so I'm sure we'll see something along those lines at this, sh at this year's show. Yeah, right. Yeah. Something large, large sensor, large resolution. Yeah. Yeah. Keep pushing it up, higher dynamic range. Those things are going to keep happening. You yeah, know? right. I think it's just, but I think you're right. I think it's just more evolution, not necessarily about a release all the time, which is probably a good thing, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Keeping the cameras we have that we love <laughs> yeah. and more yeah. tools. Yeah, more tools. Just improving them over yeah. and over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot to see at the show. Uh, no, we can't talk about everything, you know, we can see there. Right. You know, the things like other trends, I think, worth mentioning, um, IP, you know, mm -hmm. instead of traditional SDI cable, yep. transition to IP, that's the big thing happening in, right. in, the, uh, in, in the integration space. Um, and, of course, tons of evolutions of post, you know, across the board, audio, there's tons of things happening, and we can't cover it all, but right. we're trying to bring the things to you that we think... Uh, you'll like, you know, we like, you know, we're yeah. into, and that's what the show's all, all about for us. So right. uh, watch our blog, right? Check it out. We're going to have lots of content popping up all the time. We'll have presentations from our booth on there, right. as well as around the show, and just a lot to see. So watch the space, watch the blog, and uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this. We'll see you in Vegas. Yeah, yeah see you in Vegas. <laughs>